Are you prepared to learn the Tesla secret that has the potential to make you extremely wealthy? Imagine being one of the lucky few to find out about the much-anticipated new developments about Tesla's revolutionary hidden car. Get ready because this isn't your typical car. It has the power to dramatically increase your fortune. While we know that the highly anticipated Cybertruck will be built this year, there are still a lot of unanswered questions regarding the upcoming models. For example, we know that a smaller, more affordable Tesla vehicle is in development, but we don't have any specifics about its design or expected release date. Elon Musk has been making references to a mystery project for years, but up until recently, there wasn't much information available. In this video, you'll learn everything there is to know about Tesla's most ambitious project to date and the financial impact on you as a Tesla investor. Before we get started, though, be sure to like and subscribe for more earth-shattering Tesla insights. However, things have started to become clearer thanks to a series of hints that Tesla has been dropping. One important clue comes from a slide in Tesla's Investor Day presentation that shows the company's projected fleet of fully electric vehicles. The Cybertruck is grouped with a mysterious vehicle that is concealed behind a digital sheet that has the shape of a van. This is the strongest Elon Musk has also been more forthcoming about his plans for a van in recent years. In July 2022, he tweeted about the idea of a highly configurable Donna van for people and cargo, which received a resounding amount of support from his followers. Speaking of the Cybertruck, it turns out that this model may hold the key to the Tesla van's design when Musk announced that Tesla was developing a new electric vehicle. He described it as a dedicated robo-taxi that will look quite futuristic if we assume that this is similar to the van, so it becomes sense to assume that many features and design cues of the two cars will be similar. What can we anticipate from the Tesla van? Likewise, based on the available facts, we can make some reasonable guesses regarding the Cybervan with a futuristic design that complements the Cybertruck's angular industrial appearance. It is expected to have a large passenger capacity, be highly configurable for various types of cargo, and be equipped with autonomous driving capabilities. Given the attention being paid to the development of robot taxes, it is possible that the van, inspired by the Cybertruck, will retain the stainless steel exoskeleton that has captured the attention of so many fans. Yes, I would agree that a high passenger density is necessary for a transport van to be truly functional, efficient, and comfortable. As much as I like the idea of the glass bubble concept design, it also needs to be extremely safe, upholding Tesla standards as the safest vehicle on the road. Elon Musk's design philosophy places a strong emphasis on road safety, and when you're packing more people into one vehicle, it becomes even more important to keep them all safe in the event of an emergency. Nothing beats an ultra-hard sheet of solid steel to provide a sturdy, tall vehicle with strength and rigidity, something that's not possible with a large van or bus. I never want to be inside one of those in the first place because there are too many drivers using their phones while operating a vehicle, not to mention inebriated lunatics speeding around in their F-150s. Steel also has the benefit of eliminating paint, which eliminates any worry about scuffs or scratches, corrosion or dents. It seems sense that a cyber van and a cyber truck should share the majority of their power electronics if we're considering a commercial fleet of robot taxes. This is because we want to minimize our overhead costs. For a van, three or four motors wouldn't be necessary, but a dual motor system is usually the optimum for maximum range. This translates to a high-efficiency motor in the front for cruising and a high-torque motor in the rear to start the car. The Cybervan's fully adjustable air suspension system, which lowers to the ground to make it easy for people to step inside, even if they are elderly or disabled, and the ability to easily roll in a wheelchair or baby stroller make the Cybertruck, if one is created in the future, likely share the same platform. The Tesla Semi is the first high-voltage vehicle that the business has produced, and it will have the biggest edge over the Cybertruck thanks to its 1,000-volt electric architecture. When the semi was completely presented at the delivery event, Tesla engineers stated that the Cybertruck would share the same 1,000-volt design. Tesla runs at 400 volts for power electronics. However, the semi runs at 1,000 volts. The Cybertruck platform will have a very large battery pack, but not as big as the semi but the largest of any consumer-grade Tesla with the added capabilities of the V4 supercharger. We're expecting to see this platform charge at around 500 kilowatts to as high as maybe 750. The biggest practical advantage of high voltage is high charging speed. These cars have a massive battery, but they still charge quickly, which is important for robo-taxes. 
because you want as little downtime as possible. While Elon has always dismissed the idea of adding a solar roof to a Tesla vehicle, it's possible that we will see a solar-powered cybervan in the future. Imagine a vehicle that not only has a massive battery pack, but also gets some of its energy from the sun. It's an exciting idea. Speaking of charging and power management, we can also talk about solar panels. While some question the viability of solar energy in the Cybertruck because to the additional costs and complexity, it has been discussed. Although Elon Musk has previously stated that a van's larger surface area could make solar power more feasible, particularly if there are design features that allow for additional solar panels to extend from the sides, the truck's bed cover is rumored to contain solar panels. This makes the van a strong contender for solar power as a contender to be the first Tesla car with solar power installed from the factory. The cabin may still be powered by the solar array, even if it doesn't directly charge the primary battery pack. Electronics like displays, power doors, and seat adjustments, akin to the Cybertruck, would all operate on 48-volt power, deviating from the conventional wisdom of the automobile industry. Dependency on lead-acid 12-volt batteries, it is no coincidence that SpaceX developed Starlink Realm a high-speed satellite internet system intended for use while in motion, such as in an RV or van. The availability of autonomous driving or full self-driving capabilities becomes crucial for the success of the envisioned cyber economy. Tesla's adoption of lithium-ion technology takes things to a new level. Now imagine your robo-taxi offering exceptional free Wi-Fi everywhere. Then Tesla would probably sell it as something other than a typical minivan because the market for these vehicles has been mostly dominated by giant SUVs and because, on average, less people are having children, making the car that can fit 12 people less relevant to the present generation. Elon Musk has been keen to develop a car without pedals or a steering wheel in order to do away with those parts. The Cybervan, which is envisioned as a completely autonomous people mover and delivery vehicle for the robo-taxi service, may be the first Tesla vehicle to fulfill this vision. The new norm could be to use an app to summon a van, hop on it, and enjoy a hassle-free, comfortable ride to the destination. Although the van can find its way to the drop-off location, the final 20 feet may still require human assistance until incredibly dependable all-terrain robots are widely available. Despite the excitement around drone delivery, using a Tesla bot seems appropriate. For bulky items or multiple parcels, it might not be feasible. Drones would be flying everywhere, constantly buzzing, clogging the skies. Vans, on the other hand, provide a dependable alternative, though automation is required in the process. Naturally, Tesla must first achieve manufacturing before examining the cybervan concept. This will take time, but it's the next logical step to get the most out of the new platform. The Model X is the model sled to the Model Y, and the Model 3 paved the way for the Model Y. If you like this interesting content, please remember to give the video a big thumbs up to help it reach more people. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.